Hey everyone, if the lighting looks a bit odd today, it's because it is pouring outside, so I have no control over Mother Nature, so we'll have to just bear with it and do the best we can. So, today I have a haul video for you, my favorite kind of video, and um, so yeah, I finally got my package from Mac, they resent it, I don't know what happened to the first one, but doesn't really matter I guess at this point as long as I don't get charged for two packages. So I've got the stuff from the MAC uh, fashion sets or lips and tips collection. I've heard it referred to as both. And then I have a few other things to show you that I picked up. Um, little things here and there. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is the MAC collection because I know that um, a lot of you might be really interested in that. And what it was, in case you didn't see the other video, is matching lip glosses and nail polishes for the most known MAC lipsticks. So I had a heck of a time trying to decide which ones to get because um, I have a lot of MAC lipsticks and I would love to have gotten or been able to have the full set of every single color, but you know, it's just, it just gets to be too much money. So I said, all right, I'm going to pick three colors to get the lip gloss and nail polish to match the lipsticks that I already have. So I'm going to start with the one that I'm wearing today, and this is Myth. Myth is like a peachy nude color, and it's quite difficult to wear actually because it blanks out your lips and um, so it's it's not very natural looking but it is fun to do or pair with a smoky eye like I did today. I used um, several different colors which I'll show you in a minute because those are all new too and because one of the colors is extremely dark it's nice to pair that with a very subdued lip. So that's what I did today. So let me show you what the um, lipstick looks like so that you can see how well of a job they did or didn't do matching it up because that was the whole idea with this. So this is MAC Myth Lipstick. And this is what I have on my lips right now. I used MAC Naked Liner. Also, I did not fill in my lips because I kind of wanted to see how this was going to work out with the lipstick and then the matching lip gloss. So what I did was I just outlined my lips with the MAC Naked Liner and then I used the MAC Myth Lipstick and then this is the matching lip gloss and as you can see it's not exactly the same shade but it's pretty pretty close lip gloss is a little bit lighter and then this is the nail polish which I'm wearing also by the way and this went on great um, Max nail polish formulas are somewhat hit and miss um, most of the time they're okay but every once in a while you get one that's pretty lousy but this was great and color wise this, I would say, is pretty close to the lip gloss. So they did a good job matching it up. And so because I had the lipstick and then the lip gloss over it, it was easier to blank out my lips and make it this particular color, which is one of the reasons why I chose this as one of my three choices because this is such a difficult color to work with, especially, like, I have very um, pigmented lips. The natural color of them is like a, a dark rose, I would say. So it's not easy for me to wear a color like Myth because I'm going to such an extreme with the lightness of it. So it isn't a color that... Um, I wear a lot, but it was still fun to have, and having the lip gloss does help blank out the lipstick. Now, as far as the nail polish goes, this is a great color to have because if you don't do your nails every day, 
and you want to have a manicure that's going to look good with pretty much any color clothes that you wear, then this is a good way to go because it's a really nice peachy nude neutral and would look good with anything really. However, it does give you a bit of that mannequin hands look, which some people don't care for, but um, I think it's, you know, very convenient and practical. Okay, so another color that I chose <clears throat> is Angel, and I already had the lipstick, but this is what Angel looks like, in case there's somebody that isn't familiar with it. And it's a really, really pretty pink, oh, I would say like a mauve Movie, Mauve, depending on how you say it, uh, pink, and here is the lip gloss. So again, I think they went a little bit lighter on the lip gloss, and then there's the nail polish. The nail polish, I think, is a closer match for the lipstick. It's the, the darker pink. Haven't tried this yet. I, I just got this package yesterday, so... Uh, the Myth is the one that I decided to start with to complement the smoky eye. So that's Angel. And then the third color that I decided to go with, or match up to my current MAC lipsticks, is Snob. This is Snob, and that is the lip gloss, and it is just a bit lighter. And there's the nail polish, which I feel as if this is closer to the lip gloss, but falls somewhere in between those two colors. When I am at a MAC counter or a MAC store, if I just look at all the lipsticks and don't look at the names on the bottom, this is the color that I am most drawn to. So there was no way <laughs> that I was not going to get the matching lip gloss and nail polish to go with this because I just think this is the prettiest shade of rosy pink, I would say. So that's that, and uh, I haven't tried that one yet either, but I'm sure I will soon. Now, I have been in the process for a long time of trying to collect all the MAC permanent eyeshadows, so I got three more of those and decided to wear them today. This right here is Orb, and it's a peachy nude color, and I put that all over the entire eye area. And I got Soft Brown, so I'm wearing that in the crease. And Soft Brown is like a, a peachy light brown. And then in the outer corner and as liner, I have on Plumage. And Plumage is described as a peacock blue color. So really what it is, is a very dark teal. So I have all three of those colors on today. I had bought those specifically to do a look with. But also, I think soft brown is just going to be a great crease color all the way around and very versatile and I'll be able to use that with a lot of things. Orb is going to be a great either highlight or lid color or both like what I did today with just putting it all over as a, a base to start off with. Um, very very natural looking and um, yeah great base. Okay so that's what I got from MAC and then um, Okay, let's back up to what I got over the few days before that. I went to Claire's and got some earrings. I love Claire's earrings. Uh, I just find that the styles that they have are just uh, my style. <laughs> I just really enjoy them. They're very... Um, they're trendy and old-fashioned at the same time, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, let me show you the ones that I got. And most of the time at Claire's, they're buy two pairs, get one free. And that's what they were this time. So I got these. And these were $8. I just thought those were really, really pretty. So feminine and 
Um, I don't know. I just, I love that pattern. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then I got these. These are like chandelier earrings. These were also $8. And these are black. The first ones were silver. These are black. And then I got these. These are like um, little metal leaves. These were $9.50. So one of the $8 pairs I got for free. And these are gold. And they seem to be two different shades of gold, actually. Some of these leaves are a little bit lighter in color than the others, which is kind of cool because it gives them dimension. And when I bought those at the mall, I, I went right over. When I came out of the store, I went right over and found a place to sit, and I took off the earrings I was wearing and threw them in my purse and put these on. I couldn't wait to try them. They, um, these dangly earrings, I think, really complement um, the way I've been wearing my hair lately. Pulled back in some fashion with the, the small pieces coming down in the front. Yeah, these kind of earrings I think look really good with those types of hairstyles. And then, let's see, another day I went to Christmas tree shop. And uh, the only thing I got there was this. This is Alme Bright Eyes Eyeshadow in Buff and Chamois. And it looks like this. And I didn't read the back of the package on this. I just assumed that these were powder shadows, and they're not. And you can see little marks on them because I swatched them already. But these are cream to powder eyeshadows. I haven't tried these yet, but I was somewhat disappointed because I wanted them to be powder shadows. I particularly thought that this color right here was sort of unique. So... Yeah, they're um, cream to powder, and we'll see what happens with that because they they could crease, or they might not, or I may need to put a similar colored shadow over them. Um, I don't know. I'll have to play around with them and see how that goes. But this was in the clearance section for only $2.99, so I figured, you know, that breaks down to $1.50 a shadow, so even if they don't work out, I'm not really losing much. Okay, and I went to Sephora, and I just got one thing. I have been looking at this lipstick at Sephora for so long and swatched it on my hands every single time I go, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to buy it because it's my first NARS lipstick, and it's one of the matte ones, and it's called Bangkok. And the reason why I have been so hesitant about this is because matte lipsticks are usually very drying. And, of course, I don't like that. Um, but I figured, well, if I, you know, put a lip balm on my lips first and make sure that they're well moisturized, then maybe it will be okay. But how pretty is that color? I, I'm... Not always good at describing colors, but um, it's kind of a corally pink, I would say. So that is that. And I did wear this one day, and um, it is a little drying, but not so bad that you would hate it. But I just really like that color. And um, so, yeah, my first NARS lipstick... Uh, those that was twenty nine dollars, so that's another reason that I've always been put off by it, because that's that's kind of a lot for a lipstick. Not as bad as that Guerlain one that I bought, though. Um, okay, and then I also went to Bed Bath and Beyond the other night specifically to get a new product that just just came out. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond is the first place to get anything. Uh, not all Bed Bath & Beyonds have a beauty section, but if you do have, if you have a Bed Bath & Beyond near you that does have the makeup section, if you want to get something fast and you don't want to wait for it to show up in all the other stores, that's the place to go for drugstore type makeup. 
Anyway, this is the thing that I went to get there. This is called Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. This is a brand new product from Revlon. And this is a dupe for Clinique Chubby Sticks. I got it in the color Honey. And I only got this one because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. So you open it up and it looks like this. And it's retractable. You can raise it and lower it as you need to get more product out of there. And let me swatch it so you can see which one I got. And that's what it looks like. I'm really into this type of color lately. I know a lot of the lip products that I've been buying lately look very similar with the colors, but this is just what I'm really into right now. I, I used to always wear a very wide variety of lip colors, but I don't know, between my shift in my tastes in eyeshadows and now the same thing seems to be happening with my lip colors, I seem to be refining my taste more in makeup colors and gravitating towards the same things. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's that. And this is sort of a pinky mauve color. And um, in case you're not familiar with the Clinique Chubby Sticks, what they are is it's a light stain with a balm mixed in to make it somewhat glossy. Um, and the reason why I emphasize the word light is because it, they call it a stain balm, but this isn't like a typical lip stain that's going to be so intense that you're afraid that if you accidentally make a mistake with it, now you're going to be stuck with it and you're going to have a hard time getting it off the skin and it's it's not it's not like that at all this is uh, very mellow in terms of being a stain I'm not going to do a full-fledged review on this because I don't plan on getting any of the other colors of these not because I don't like it because I absolutely love this and I highly recommend that when these come out where you live or whatever that you do try one of these um, the only reason why I'm not going to get any of the other colors is because, honestly, I didn't really care for any of the other colors that they come in. Um, I am getting very particular about what colors I want to wear, and so the other colors didn't tempt me. Now, in the past, I would have probably bought them in every single color because if I like a product, I have had or have had a tendency to do that. But I'm not going to do that anymore. That's crazy because then certain colors just don't end up getting used that much and it's kind of a waste of money and product. But yes, I absolutely love this. Uh, I would show you what it looks like right now except for I already have something on. But I'll, I'll show you how this looks on my lips in a future video for sure. And um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this. And they are not as expensive as the lip butter lipsticks are so they're even more affordable but yeah this is a great great product looks really really nice on the lips okay and another new well new to me thing that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond that same night is I got a nail polish from LA Splash now Ulta carries LA Splash products but they don't carry their nail polishes so I was thrilled when I saw this huge, huge display of L.A. Splash nail polishes in so many colors I had a hard time deciding. But this one is called Peachy, and I figured that considering we're in spring now and we're going into summer, although you'd never know it, by the weather that we've been getting where I live lately, because it's been cold, which is why I've had on all these long sleeve shirts and sweaters and everything, but yeah, um, I figured this would be a good color to get for the spring and summer season. It's just this beautiful, beautiful shade of peach. And I haven't used this yet, but I did swatch it like on a piece of paper just to see how it would apply. And I think it's going to be good, but we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see on that. And then the last thing I have to show you is... A color, a, a nail polish color by Essie that I have wanted for as long as I can remember, but I just had never gotten around to buying it yet. 
and this is called Sugar Daddy and it's just this gorgeous shade of pink and I have heard that this goes on very sheer and that it does need multiple coats but um, you know if it's this beautiful on my nails then I think maybe it's worth it and I'll just when I do decide to use this I'll just slap a, a coat of sesh feet on top of it so that I can enjoy it for a long time uh, because I wouldn't want to have the work of doing many many coats go to waste so that's it uh, so that's everything I bought and um, for the rest of the products that I'm wearing today I will just put everything all the information that you would want to know in the description box and uh, I'll see you next time bye everyone